Welcome to Program Knowledge. Today I'm going to talk about syntax in Arduino and do some exercises in order to get used to with Arduino. First, talk about embed this system. We have to know about binary, aka logic level. Okay, here. Uh, binary is the smallest unit of data in computer with single value, either 0 or 1. By the digits, we can commute with microcontroller or almost hardware. And in our video series, we will define logic 0 is low level and logic 1 is high level. Is equivalent 0 is 0 voltage when we make an output and 1 is 5 voltage. Okay? And about programming language, the Arduino compiler accepts C and C++. In fact, many of the open source libraries are written in C++. Much of the underlying system is not object oriented, but it could be. Thus, the Arduino language is C++ or C. Okay, you can use C or C++. Therefore, uh, we also have syntax, variable, and data types etc. as the other programming language. But with embedded system, we have some new data types because system uh, can sometimes define integer to be 8 bits, 16 bits or 30 bits long. This is some new uh, data types. That is, byte is equivalent on size char and the size is 8 bits. And next is unit Unsigned in 8 is uh, equivalent in size chart, it has 8 bits size and more is 16 bits and 32 bits. Okay, now I will talk about Arduino function in IDEA Arduino. Okay, in IDEA Arduino, when we create a new project, the two default functions will be appear right here. You see, F setup function and loop function. Pay attention, we don't have main function in this idea like the other idea to code. We have, we just have two functions like this. Both of two functions you void right here. It means in this default function, we don't need to return any variable. But uh, when you create your function, user function, right? Uh, you can put any data type as you want to handle your project. I will make this sample later. Okay. In setup function, we usually set up some function to start and we will run program in love function. Yeah, right here. Declare init call function, set up some pins, etc. once time. It just run once time. It just run once in setup and then it out. But in the love function, your program will be uh, repeatedly. Okay. Your program run forever inside loop function until you disconnect the power of Arduino because we don't need a device run continuously. Ah, uh, sorry, because we need a device run continuously whole time to check sensor, check weather, check LED button, etc. That's the reason why we have a loop function. We don't need a device run once and then up forever. Okay, understand? Uh, this is how we uh, uh, organize global, local variables and user function. So, mm, in the head, in the head of text editor, we often include some libraries, and then we also define some variables below that. And next is global variables. You can define uh, global variables here to uh, use in half of your program. And next is user function, but um, you need to uh, put your user function above of set of function to avoid errors. Okay, pay attention about that. And the last one is uh, if you want to create a local variable, you need to in it in a certain function you want. This is a sample local variable in setup function cannot use in loop function. Okay. If you want to uh, use a local variables, you need to uh, edit in a certain function. Okay. 
Okay, that all thing we need to know where to start with. I don't know. Now, first I will explain about plane project again. And then I will fix some SSI in reverse video right here. Okay, let's check plane project. Okay, here this is plane project. Uh, I will delete some command right here for easy for clearly okay um, they um, set up pin mod in setup function and write a algorithm in the loop function right here with this line pin mod let boot in and output so what is that this line mean we set up pin let boot in and let boot in of Arduino is pin 13 okay pin 13 and output right here means uh, we will set up it as output pin okay we can change this line to here okay we will set up it as output by this line next in loop function we also change for easy okay first line is mean um, make an output voltage at pin 13 and the output voltage is high okay is high it means we will output 5 voltage at pin 13 do you remember high level yes it will make an output in 5 voltage it will make the led on and next uh, the led keep on in 1 second then this line will make the let off because uh, they use low it mean uh, the pin 13 will output as zero voltage okay turn off the let then they keep turn off the let in one second and repeat forever okay do you understand uh, we just do to light in this uh, exercise first in pin mod and the second is digital right uh, pin mod will set up your pins with a status is output and the digital right will uh, make an output with high or low okay okay that's it about the blink project now I will uh, make a second task here I will make this because the first task is asymmetric with the second task so I don't fix the first task okay let's start with the second task in the reverse video I have the diagram like this now I will change a little bit of cathode pin of lead I don't use chin D pin anymore but instead of that I will use pin 7 instead of chin D to control lead like this I have a diagram like this. Okay, here I have already written the code for a second task. So I will explain the code before I um, make a circuit. Okay, so first I will define a variable with name is my anode led is pin 8. And I define my cathode led is e pin 7. It's client in diagram, right? Scan diagram pin 8 e anode and pin 7 e cathode. Okay, right here it's just a variable. So uh, I define like this for uh, easy change number of pin if you want. Okay, next I define a variable led on off e 1000. Okay, okay, next I have a setup and loop function right here. Uh, first, uh, and I set you, if you want to use more pin, uh, right here I use pin 8 and pin 7, uh, we need to in it pin 8 and pin 7 as output, right here, pin mod pin 8 as output, and pin mod pin 7 as output too, okay, next, uh, I will run, uh, this line once, because, um, uh, this cathode led I uh, make an output is low voltage it mean I will uh, output zero voltage at pin 7 is equivalent with GND so I don't need to put this line in the loop function because it's like a GND so 
in Blink project do you remember in Blink project they just uh you only one line to control it okay okay right here i have digital right and not uh, my anode led is mean i will uh, make an output at 5 voltage in at uh, pin 8 and then keep turn on turn off and keep turn off okay now we'll connect my circuit and upload to arduino for clearly here i will uh, connect anode pin to pin 8 and connect cathode pin to pin 7 okay then we'll connect to the laptop now i will check the com bar is it com 3 okay then is my code okay i will upload to my arduino okay it's uploading you see it's blink okay it's blinked okay we will go to the next task that is finally task finally task uh, we will connect more led we'll connect more led and make it blink uh, we can make a blink from left to right right to left from center or anything you want you just need to control it to practice for better okay and I have a diagram like this I will connect GND to cathode of LED for easy because I want to control two pins at the same time I just want to control one pin is enough okay the anode of LED 1 I will connect to uh, pin 10 the second to the pin 9 and last is pin 8 okay right here pin 10 pin 9 and pin 8 okay now i will make a circuit like that i will disconnect uh, my arduino first and then connect connect like a diagram okay i have uh, um, oh. okay first a resistor i will plug like the diagram first second and last one okay then we'll connect lead with and not ease here right here last a like this okay and then we'll connect the anode first the anode we connect on our left we'll connect to the 10 a 9 10 next a 9 9 in, in the center and the last one is 8 ok 8 and the cathode led we will connect to the GND we will connect to the GND I will connect right here connect the cathode up center pin center led is in one column Um, right here and then we'll connect it to the GND okay connect to the GND GND okay we'll connect like this this okay now I have a program I
I has program for last project. I will I also define like that. And not like one is ten, let two is nine and three eight like the diagram. <laughs> then I will let on off. I will uh, define let on off with five hundred millisecond, and then set up. Uh, in it one by one, okay. In it one by one, as I said. Then I have a loop function like this. First, I will turn on the LED. On the turn on led one, then keep turn on, turn on led two, keep turn on, turn on led three, keep turn on, and then it will turn off led one, keep turn off, turn off led two, keep turn on, turn off led three, keep turn off. Okay, now I will demo for you. Connect to the laptop, check com bar, and then upload. You see of uh, the magic. See, the LED will blink from left to right. Okay, with these light, you can control your LED uh, from left to right, but you can also change it to um, control from right to left, or from the center to the left, or from center to the right. Okay, the the code is so easy, right? It just have pin mod and digital right. With uh, turn on left, you just have digital right with high and turn up with digital right with low. Just to light, you can control your LED. Okay, right now I will uh, create a user function. Void and your my function okay my function my function and but as I said we have to put is above the set of function in this my code and in the loop I will call the my function like this but this way you can call my function multiple times without use many code. Just call this function and the program will blink the lab.